In the case of Sterling versus Sterling, a witness testified today that Donald Sterling's actions could cost the family $500 million. As KCAL Lines Randy Page reports, it all stems from the debate over the Sterling Family Trust. Today, Shelley Sterling's attorneys called the Sterling Company's chief financial officer to the stand, who testified Donald Sterling's revocation of the family trust has prompted banks to default on $500 million in real estate loans. We would have to unload $500 million in apartment buildings. I think there would be an impact on the L.A. real estate market, and I don't know if we could sell that many properties that quickly, CFO Darren Shield testified. It shows the madness of Donald Sterling in having revoked the trust uh, without any ability to understand the consequences of his actions. Um, this one was a $500 million consequence of his actions. Donald Sterling's attorneys argue with $2 billion in equity in his real estate holdings, he would have no trouble finding other ways to cover the $500 million debt. I don't think there's any risk that they won't be able to get a new, lend a new lender to step in or that they'd be able to sell buildings sufficient to cover the debt. Shelley Sterling's attorneys are trying to convince a judge their client is acting in the best interest of the family trust by selling the Clippers to billionaire Steve Ballmer for $2 billion. While Donald Sterling's attorneys argue there is no trust because Donald revoked it and therefore Shelley Sterling doesn't have the right to sell the team on behalf of a trust that doesn't exist. Tomorrow, Shelley Sterling's attorneys say they intend to call two witnesses. One of them is Richard Parsons, interim CEO of the Los Angeles Clippers. Then it will be Donald Sterling's attorney's turn, and they say they intend to call Shelley Sterling back to the witness stand. In downtown Los Angeles, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.